Hey everyone, Happy New Year's, Happy 2018. Um, in this video I wanted to quickly talk about audio cables and conductor uh, uh, materials. Sometimes people ask me like, uh, what's the best headphone cable or, st or a speaker cable um, and what kind of materials I like and blah blah blah. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about that other than to say that I prefer copper cables. I think they sound better than either silver plated copper or pure silver. Um, a lot of people think that the um, pure silver sounds a little bit brighter and that's been my experience too when I've done listening tests. Um, whereas copper to me sounds um, a little bit more warm. But that being said, you should always go for a pure conductor. Don't go for um, silver plated copper. What actually happens is silver plated copper cables can actually go bad, which is interesting um, because what happens is they sound great when they're new, but then over time, like over years, they start to deteriorate because a layer of um, oxidation um, can form underneath the between the silver and the copper and that can actually deteriorate the conductors. So then after a few years or whatever, they don't perform as well. And um, my source for this is actually Kimber Cable. Ray Kimber um, has spoken about that and I will try to post it up here. Where is it? Um, up here. I'll try to post a link to where he talks about that. So when you're talking about speaker cables or headphone cables or probably even power cables, um, try to go for either pure copper or pure silver or one or the other, not silver plated copper. Silver plated, co silver plated copper can sound good initially, but again, it can deteriorate over time uh, due to that oxidation layer. So cables can actually go bad in that respect. Even pure copper cables can go bad if you get oxidation um, between the shielding and, and the actual copper itself when you get really cheap crappy cables. Um, I actually experienced this myself several years back um, when I had some really cheap speaker cable from like Home Depot. After a few years I noticed that the copper was starting to turn kind of green. It had the clear, um, you know, clear plastic around it, like the clear, pas clear plastic um, uh, shielding. and um, I could actually see that it was turning green after a while, and that means that the cable is actually starting to go bad. So if the cable is not constructed well and not sealed well, um, that can happen. And then also, like if you look on the tips of your speaker cable, like your um, the copper, like where, where it goes into the banana plug or whatever, sometimes if there's a little exposed copper there over the years, that'll start turning a little bit green and you can actually get some oxidation there too. That doesn't necessarily mean the whole cable's bad because if it's a good cable underneath the uh, shielding um, below that, it's perfectly uh, airtight. And so you won't, um, you know, that won't damage, that won't, that doesn't mean the whole cable's bad, but just near the tip. And oftentimes if you see that, you can just clip that off and then re-terminate it with the banana plug or whatever. And uh, that, that'll be fine. But basically the main thing is avoid silver plated copper cables, whether they be um, headphone cables, or speaker cables because um, those cables are um, prone to going bad. So cables can actually go bad, which is interesting. And that's really the reason why I myself avoid any kind of silver plated copper headphone cables or uh, speaker cables or power cables. Aside from the fact that I prefer a pure copper cable in terms of the way that it sounds. See you in my next video.